So you're looking for axles with a new bolt pattern. You found wheels, you bought wheels, you stole don't steal wheels. You need a new bolt pattern for some shafts. We can help you. Check this out. Check it out. Our flanges are blank. You can get whatever bolt pattern you want, sort of, but whatever you need for your wheels. We do custom bolt patterns all the time and we do see some mistakes. So before we get into this, why don't we take a look at how to measure. When measuring axles, you should know that you measure a even lug pattern different than you measure an odd lug pattern. I've got a couple axles here for us to look at. When measuring a six lug pattern, you can measure center to center, straight across. That's gonna give you the actual bolt circle that you're measuring. So over here we have a GM six on five and a half. You can see that if I measure the outside of one stud to the inside, which is same as center to center, I get five and a half inches. Six lugs, six on five and a half. Now you can't do that on a five lug or any odd lug pattern because when you go across, you're not actually going straight across. You're not cutting the shaft in half, you're going slightly above or below the half. So the number is not correct. What you can do is this little hack where you hook your tape on the outside of the stud there, and then you pull over to this guy and you're measuring to the center. This bolt pattern is five on five and a half. Rad little hack. Now when you're changing your bolt pattern, there's a couple of things you need to think about also. One, your brakes. Are you staying with the same brakes or are you changing? If you change brakes, then you need to be aware of what we call a pilot size and a flange diameter, because those might need to change. Now two, if you're going to a bigger bolt pattern, which we do see a ton of, then sometimes the flange diameter where the axles are, where the studs are installed in the axles, that needs to grow as well. And if that needs to grow, you need to make sure if it can fit in the drum or rotor steel. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad day, it's not gonna fit. So those are a few things about making custom shads. You just need to be aware how they affect the rest of your build. Brakes, wheels, that kind of stuff. Now there is one other option we can consider when doing a custom bolt pattern. Let me show you. I have a customer axle here that has one pattern and it's five on five. Now there's lots of room for another five lug pattern. So we could definitely put five on four and three quarter, five on four and a half, five on five and a half if this flange is big enough. That's totally cool. You'll notice there's no access hole, nothing getting in the way. So that's awesome. The only catch would be we can't do a six lug. So sometimes we see guys want to change from five lug to six lug on your Chevy trucks or whatever. That's not possible on factory shafts because some of the holes will end up overlapping. But uh, let me show you another example of sometimes why we can't do this. Here's an axle shaft that's a good example of why we can't do a bolt pattern change on your shafts. Look at it, it's got three access holes. That's gonna get in way of putting a new pattern in there, even if it's the same uh, five lug to five lug. There's just not gonna be enough room in there, and we don't wanna plug up that and cause any heat treat issues uh, by welding, so we're gonna wanna suggest new shaz for you. Now, on my Dutchman axles, that may not be the story. Let's go over one last thing real quick. On our Dutchman axles, because they're blank, we have a lot of flexibility, and sometimes we can do multiple bolt patterns. Check this out. So you notice on our five lug shaft here, we have an axis hole, but it is offset next to the stud. That's to leave room for another pattern. So we can do two bolt patterns on our Dutchman axles. It's pretty rad. And on our C-clip axles, we can do sometimes up to three if you want. Now, that might be kind of goofy, but there's no access hole or anything like that. And then the rule from earlier still applies. I can't do a five lug and a six lug pattern on your axles, just doesn't fit. All right, that's pretty much it as far as custom bolt patterns go. So if you have any more questions, anything I didn't cover in this video, drop a comment below. Let me know, I'd be happy to answer those. Uh, check out our website, dutchmanaxles.com. We can shorten axles, we can make them longer, we can upgrade the splines, whatever you guys want for your custom axle needs. Hit us up, check us out. Until next time, see you later.